Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Monday weather update, recorded September the 4th. And we're forecasting plenty of westerly winds for New Zealand this week. That makes it wetter in the west, drier in the east. And over in Australia, a cold blast, a big southerly coming in for you. Let's explain it all on the animated wind map today showing air pressure. So high pressure to the white out here to the east of New Zealand, low pressure in the darker shading. So we've got a low out here in the Tasman. It is falling apart, but it's the reason why the top of the country has been windy for the last couple of days. Classic squash zone between a big high and a low pressure zone. So that nor'easter blowing through. But as the low crumbles, it falls apart today and tomorrow, those winds will gradually ease and they'll turn around from being an easterly like it is at the moment to being a westerly associated with this bigger system, big sort of stormy stuff down in the Southern Ocean. And that's about to move uh, into the southeastern corner of Australia. And then it sort of moves on towards New Zealand, but more in the form of windy westerlies and wet weather for the western side of New Zealand. Now the cold nights, well they are certainly melting at the moment. We had lots of frost last week. Look at the uh, frost risk tonight, not very much, only through the southern Alps really. Elsewhere, maybe a slight risk through central Otago, but otherwise it is frost free as those uh, northerly winds carry on. And look at Tuesday lunchtime here in New Zealand, still have a northerly flow coming in from the northeast, the north, and the northwest. So it's a mild day, really, across Tuesday. The low's fallen apart, so we've still got some wet weather, especially for the top of the North Island and the western sides of the country. But those winds are turning more westerly, and plenty of westerly winds in Australia as well, with Tasmania and the southern part of Western Australia most exposed. Perth had some rain yesterday as well. As we go through to Wednesday, you can see that colder change starting to build up here in Western Australia. Warm, windy nor'westers though for Victoria and Tasmania. And speaking of warm, windy nor'westers, that's the forecast for New Zealand on Wednesday. Got a new low down here, a new cold front moving in, and plenty of windy weather and showers in the west. Classic September set up for you. Now by Thursday, that pretty much falls apart in the New Zealand area. Still windy, still got those westerlies blowing through, and uh, wet weather along the western and northern sides of the country. This is high pressure to the north, so that front, yes, it does move in, but it does also fall apart as it comes into the top of New Zealand. But look at Australia, big southerly blast coming around this big high over Western Australia. So big southerlies coming in here, windy gale force conditions, Adelaide getting a blast of southerlies, and then as we go through later into Thursday night, it'll move into Tasmania and Victoria, because by Friday, look at that setup, a uh, bit of a blast for you. So there'll be some snow on the mountains, uh, the tops of uh, Tasmania and going into Victoria, also into ACT, it'll be colder and showery. For New Zealand, what a change comes back down again on the edge of high pressure. So not a lot going on uh, with a fairly calm day. Fog patches back again around the North Island on Friday, but those nor'westers pick up once more around the South Island. So as we go into Saturday, you've got high pressure parked out here over the Chathams, mild winds once again down across New Zealand, and that cold southerly, well, it's blowing up uh, past Sydney and into Brisbane, temperatures drop, all around this big high, and then over here, here is your next low. So a busy spring pattern coming into Australia, and for New Zealand, it is also a spring pattern, but we're on the milder side for Saturday, colder southerlies here, warmer northerlies there. That is all from me. Good to be back. Hope you had a great weekend. We'll see you again tomorrow, Tuesday, with our next update.